we don't know the magic but we have a magical stem cell that can regrow reborn and recreate and regenerate our new cell the changes that i have experienced after my stem cell treatment have been nothing short of a miracle lots of medical data and medical research and clinical trials and more than 5000 article publications and millions of treatments successfully show that that should be the future treatment Well, this is Dr. Hawk. Today I'd like to explain stem cell, how that works and what is scientific evidence and which patient needs stem cell. I'll put the research link in the description below so you can read details about the scientific research and understand how that is effective and which patient need what doses and what is scientific discovery behind the stem cell therapy. We regenerate billions of cells every day. and this is not our credit this is our innate regenerative process that happens every day every moment and every second of your life we don't know the magic but we have a magical stem cell that can regrow reborn and recreate and regenerate our new cell and tissue and healthy organ so what is stem cell a stem cell is our mother cell that has super power and we depend on them because they develop our new cell as needed whenever our tissue is inflamed affected or damaged a stem cell comes in and then regrow and produce the healthy organ as i mentioned earlier every day billions of cell has been constantly dying and same amount of cell being regenerated and a stem cell does that job It has been 100% life-changing for us, our family, for Ireland. She wouldn't know where be where she is right now if it wasn't for her stem cell treatments. I can't be more thankful and blessed. People who are skeptical to stem cell or anything, I would say give it all. In. You have nothing to lose. The changes that I have experienced. after my stem cell treatment have been nothing short of a miracle. My favorite is the ending where basically once you're done you see the changes. My favorite is the change that happens after the treatment. There is no simple number or adjective is adequate to explain the complexity of billions of trillions of chemical reaction happening in our body. every moment it causing lot of damage lot of scars depending on which organ or which part of the body is affected that's how we name them as a disease there are more than 11000 disease has been named and new disease are being added every year but if you go back see the underlying issue of the disease is how cell is working how cell is functioning how cell is toxicated affected inflamed or is healthy if it is healthy person is healthy cell is not working that person is inflammation if person is unhealthy inflammation going on on the cellular level on the tissue or some part of the organ and that causing a uh, different types of complexity and we name them disease in the modern time we always think about degeneration we do surgery we cutting we damaging we doing procedure but why not we grow or regrow why not we regenerate cell which is damaged or not functioning well instead of degeneration we can simply do regeneration by empowering or adding stem cell when you get a cut or burn don't you see it gets back to normal it regrow and reform the tissue instead of using so much drugs and medicines and surgery and procedure as father of modern medicine he say do no harm just regenerate the part is degenerated lots of medical data and medical research and clinical trials and more than 5000 article publications and millions of treatments successfully show that that should be the future treatment below in my clinical practice i see a lot of patients suffering with the asd autistic uh, syndrome like a verbal issue or non verbal at all 
and and suffering with the aggressiveness and banging the wall and sleepless, probably not eating properly. Those improve so much, and patients saying that uh, my, um, especially uh, parents saying that their kids improve. Uh, some cases they say hundred percent improve with their behavioral and um, struggles they have been going through. You see on my social media they share their success story. I see a patient who was doing dialysis. They don't need to dialysis so many times per week. And a couple of my patients they got rid of dialysis completely. Look at the success story. I have a patient who followed my comprehensive uh, healing guideline. A patient who um, was uh, suffering with the blockages. They don't have any heart blockage anymore. Uh, I didn't treat the heart blockage or, or but they don't need to treat the heart blockage. You just need to support the body. Heart will take care of the heart blockages. Awesome. Yes, I'm feeling so good. Now it's gone, completely gone. No more pain. Now I'm perfect. Thank you for everyone, you know, you guys giving me service and I'm benefited. And also at the same time, uh, somebody else will get the benefit too. Thank you. If you want to feel better, you want to be healthy. If you're looking for an alternative to taking a lot of medications or if you have an issue and they just think can't, they cannot seem to figure it out, go to Dr. Hawk right here. I'm cancer free. Um, I truly appreciate Dr. Hack that I met over a year ago. I have been consulting with him periodically. In terms of service, zero to 10, I'll give 10 always, all the time. Phone call, emailing, appointment booking, everything was so perfect. Mm -hmm. It's more. Now the question is why to go for the treatment, right? You can go to Mexico, Panama, so many countries with have 15 to 50 thousands of dollars. And uh, but a lot of them they do only blueprint or a plant based or not the umbilical cord. A lot of patients do not get success. And um, you say that uh, they are not uh, uh, injecting proper quality stem cells. Maybe they're not that much potent and they're not maybe alive. They're not. Uh, good quality so uh, patient is not getting uh, results and, and US uh, doctors have been doing for many decades uh, for stem cell therapy but uh, since that we did not approve that a uh, lot of doctors were, hes were hesitant to do that and now courts rule that if any US physician want to do stem cell FDA cannot say anything so after that, uh, a lot of doctors are interested in our medical clinic, our um, three MDs, they're very, they agree that they want to start a stem cell. And we have uh, provided several million stem cell treatment and all are successful because it's all umbilical cord stem cell. And they're more potent, as I said earlier, 5,000 times more potent than other mesothymal or other types of stem cells. You can think of or you can heard of. The first article I need to explain that how mesothymal stem cell, which is uh, umbilical cord derived, are very potent, clean, and very successful with a constant uh, results that uh, we got. Uh, read through the article, you'll see how it is more clear, consistent results, and um, powerful and clean. And it comes with a anti inflammatory immunomodulator. It comes with a powerful anti-inflammatory um, protein, as well as it comes with a healing mitochondria and promote the growth factor. For other diseases like a arthritis, a lot of people suffering with arthritis. For arthritis patients who are suffering with arthritis, uh, um, in Bitrix Therapeutics in Irving, California, they found out that inflammation can be improved so much within one year, almost no inflammation with the arthritis specifically Psoriatic arthritis patient. There are many research and clinical trials successfully shown that it can completely kill the cancer cell on the cancerous tumor for the cancer patient. Specifically, in this research, you see an Indian Restone Cancer Center. The group of doctors, uh, like a Dr. Kenny, Harry, and Nina, group of doctors, they applied uh, the stem cell therapy on cancer patient. And they found out that subsequently it constantly healing the cancer cell over the time once they apply the stem cell therapy. There are many research uh, published in UK, specifically this research published in UK 
they show that the stem cell therapy when they activate the T cell, B cell, mast cell, so they can go and kill the antigens in the cancerous tumor and location of the infection in the any tissue or organ get affected uh, with infection and cancer. T cell can kill the cancerous cell. T cell not only kill the cancerous cell, it also kill the Around the world, so many research and medical trials are going on on the autistic patient, how stem cell could significantly improve neurological and behavioral and social aspective characteristics and barriers that autistic patients are suffering. So in Arizona and Connecticut, uh, two lab combined, those are Medistim Laboratories and Costa Rica Medical Center in Connecticut. And there are some other lab combinedly, they did a study. They found that uh, stem cell therapy not only improves the uh, autism characteristic, it also improves significantly on the neurological and behavioral dysfunction on autistic patients. In in United States, uh, Duke University did actually comprehensive study for a year long stem cell therapy on on autistic patients. They found out significant and groundbreaking success. They found out that stem cell therapy not only improved the ASD syndrome uh, in twelve month. Uh, period of treatment, they found that uh, they improve social communication skill, they improve their vocabulary issue, eye tracking problem and social interaction and all types of severity of uh, ASD patients. And they found out that this stem cell therapy very much safe and well tolerated on any age of uh, autism patients. At this moment in the world, uh, more than 80, in some cases, 100 uh, autoimmune disease and immune system attacking our own body cell by mistake and those autoimmune reactions could be controlled by stem cell therapy. Not only UK, not only Western world, even a lot of country like a uh, European and even, even Middle Eastern, even Iran, uh, Asian countries, South Korea, there is a lot of research uh, going on. Specifically, one research I like to mention is in Spain, Madrid, the Department of Gastroenterology, they found out that for IBD, colon, Crohn, or any types of a Crohn disease patient, they found a significant results and they are suggesting their patients and they, and they stated that that should be the future treatment for um, any types of uh, colon autoimmune disease to regenerate the organ like a liver, lung, kidney and improve the ejection fraction or EGFR in the kidney or research going on that shows that the organ could get back to normal or improve significantly for the heart failure or heart blockage or heart patient who has a very low ejection fraction. The research shows that it regenerates damaged mitochondriogram and grow back a healthy heart so that it will be a uh, great support uh, for the future treatment uh, for the millions of people who are suffering cardiovascular disease. And this research is published in NIH, National Health Institute of United States. For kidney failure or kidney very low EGFR or the patient who are doing dialysis uh, several times a week or about to go to dialysis, there is an amazing research published in American Journal of Physio, Renal Physio, they showed that uh, stem cell can promote uh, multiple mechanisms, including modulation of uh, pro-inflammatory cytokines and adenosine, interleukin-2. There are many research showing on type 1 or type 2 or even type 3 diabetes because type 1, type 2, type 3 are primarily connected to high sugar and high sugar in the bloodstream come in type 1 from the pancreas. Beta cell is not working properly, not producing enough insulin. So stem cell can come to the body, improve the beta cell production or uh, replace the beta cell in the pancreas so you can get a healthy pancreas to grow uh, enough insulin. So you won't have a um, insulin deficiency to convert sugar into your uh, energy. And type 2 diabetes, uh, you have a lot of inflammation, liver dysfunction and uh, sugar metabolism that could be improved with a uh, stem cell as well as um, type 3 diabetes who have a kind of Alzheimer or neurological dysfunction, uh, they can easily promote healthy uh, uh, neuron and activate the inactive part of the brain. So stem cell have a significant results. Uh, 
um, with that uh, type of patients. Study published in Diabetes uh, Journal Volume 8, they show that uh, the mesochymal stem cell can uh, not only prevent but also cure type 1 diabetes uh, because it is immunomodulatory, it has a mechanism to improve the overall metabolic condition and pancreatic health. A lot of time, stem cell therapy get uh, misunderstand that it is a huge treatment. It's a very simple process. For instance, uh, Journal of Pediatrics, uh, they found that if a nine weeks age, children are safe to take uh, stem cell therapy. You can read the journal to understand how stem cell therapy is safe for even a young age and like a nine weeks old. So how stem cell works? Suppose when you were born, you had stem cell one out of 10,000 regular cell. When you become teenager, you had one stem cell out of 100,000. When you become age of 30, you had one stem cell out of 250,000 regular cell. When you become age of 50, you had one out of 400,000 regular cell. And when you become age of 80s, you had one out of two million regular cell. Imagine you constantly declining stem cell number compared to regular cell of the body so that you replenishing or reducing or lowering chance of regrowth and replacing regular cell. So you can go back to again younger age replicating or reproducing or repeating or replacing healthy tissues and organs by stimulating stem cell or putting stem cell in the body in a proper procedure. Current research shows that stem cell promote a growth factor. Many research also showing that stem cell produces anti-inflammatory protein TSG6 that can cleanse and heal, lower the inflammation, activate the regular body cell, and that can balance the fluid and regular blood flow and improve the body overall function and bring back to homeostasis level. Amazing research showing that stem cells communicate with the regular cell through the exosome that transfer healthy or active mitochondria to the inactive cells mitochondria so that healthy cell is being regenerated or inactive cell get activated so that organ functions better. Even in regular basis, our regular regeneration, regrow, and chronic disease and aging and long-term illness, we need regeneration. We simply inject the stem cell in the body in the right format and the right one to get healthier and day by day and come back to younger and stronger. Our body is powerful healing machine and healing encoded in the stem cell of DNA. And stem cells of DNA can come to the body and influence a regular cell to repair, rebuild, and multiply. Stem cell also can upregulate our immune system. And by upregulating and modulating immune system like T cell, B cell, B cell, these killer cells are activated and that can cleanse the body from any sort of antigens and body system works fine. You don't get chronic disease and infections and, and you know, long-term chronic infection cause terminal disease like a cancer or, or organ failure or serious autoimmune conditions. Our body has amazing system called apostosis that with the apostosis our cell ages and at certain age they die so that healthy cell can regenerate. But when body is not working properly, body have a lot of underlying issue. In that case, apostosis doesn't work properly. The so cell stay in the body producing inflammation and long run cancer and neurological issue and skin damage and so many organ failure. So stem cell comes in, it promote apostosis so that you don't have aged cell, your body get chance to regenerate, unwanted cell get cleaned up. There are many more scientific evidence. I will explain more application, more mechanism, more way of healing with stem cell in my future videos. Now I'd like to talk to you what are the different types of stem cell? Stem cell are being classified in many different ways, but primarily three major types. Number one is 
embryonic stem cell. These stem cells are obtained from embryo and obtaining from embryo or an unborn fetus it has a lot of complication and ethical and controversial issue and there is a serious side effect are found. The second type is umbilical cord derived stem cell. These cells are derived from the umbilical cord which connected the baby and mother at birth. Collecting tissues from umbilical cord and processing and extracting active cell from the umbilical cord is a very safer and more potent cell are being extracted. The third type of stem cell are called adult stem cell. Collecting from same patient and injecting back to the patient again. But that doesn't work that much because you already been inflammated and affected by the health issue. You already don't have enough stem cell or good stem cell exist in your body. How you take stem cell from your same body from adipose tissue or bone marrow. So this is like helpful but not really works as a significant improvement of your underlying health issues. There are another type of stem cell is called a IPSCS. IPSCS is a new and more research is needed and hopefully that will be a good outcome in the future that would be a good treatment modality but more research needed for that. There are different classifications like autologous coming from same patient. There is another one called amniotropic fluid but it doesn't have any mesochymal cell and other one is called placental that also doesn't have any mesochymal cell because mesochymal cell is the one more potent it's a thousand times more potent than a regular stem cell because mesochymal stem cell is more powerful than other stem cell and extracting mesochymal stem cell from umbilical cord simple fast and it's easy to inject to the body and it is very much potent, more than 5,000% more potent than other mesothelial stem cell. And it is consistent with the results and it contains all types of cell factor to heal, improve and empower our body cell. So why umbilical cord derived mesothelial cell is so powerful and so potent and so consistent results are being found? First of all, umbilical cord has a maximum and more powerful stem cell and good quality of stem cell. And for this umbilical cord doesn't need any invasive procedure to collect stem cell. And of course quality stem cell is there. As results shows, this is the right stem cell to be used for stem cell therapy. And as I mentioned earlier, umbilical cord derived stem cell is more than five thousand times more potent than regular mesocamal stem cell or any other cell are going on as being used as a therapy those are kind of extracted from the plants and kind of blueprinted that should not be used to human being for improving their health issues of course millions of treatments in our lab shows that you see NSC is our right stem cell and potent, accurate, and maximum results and constant success. That's why this is nowadays getting more and more. This is getting very popular and because of success from the patient. Now the question is, which patient need stem cell therapy? Stem cell is not treatment for disease. It's for improving body cell, improving the inactive cell, and regrowing the affected tissue to go back to a healthy organ. It comes as a team. Stem cell is a powerful anti-inflammatory protein, TSG6. It comes with a immunomodulator. It comes with a activated DNA in the stem cell to modulate regular cell. It also connect regular cell with the exosome so that regular cell get activated. And healing power is in the DNA. So it helps to the regular cell activate, regrow, and replace, and empower, or regenerate new cell so that organ can be activated. So any disease in the organ system or any chronic issue, stem cell comes in, improve the organ, improve the environment. That's why it helps to chronic disease and metabolic issues like 
cancer or after radiotherapy or chemotherapy of the cancer patient, autoimmune patient, heart failure, organ failure, lung failure, lowering the patient who have a very low ejection fraction rate, kidney EGFR is becoming very low, constantly being dialysis, neurological issue like a uh, Alzheimer, dementia or um, autistic patient, ASD patient got a huge results and liver cirrhosis and someone have a lung issue like a lower respiration rate and any types of uh, organ dysfunction, sexual dysfunction. We can go on and on, thousands of disease. We all need empower that tissue, improve that cell function, that body will heal, regrow, and disease is like a syndrome that is gonna go away when you improve your body with C M S C stem cell therapy. I personally have multiple autoimmune disease and doctor said you have to go to handicap. We can't teach you anymore because you've been with so many steroids and so much biologics going on, antihistamine therapy, allergy treatment going on every week, several times a day. Doctor said, you have to go to handicap. You cannot work anymore. And with the empowering stem cell and improving the body and lung issue, I got myself back. I am now helping other people to get back to their true health. So what doses you should follow? Actually, we don't recommend specific doses. You can do every week for several months or several years. We can do every two weeks, several months or several years. Or you can do back to back two or three days and do every two month or three month interval, depending on what your practitioner suggests based on your situation. Or for the maintenance, you can do every month or every three months, one therapy for several years. What is the FDA recommendation for stem cell? FDA clearly mentioned that stem cell is very potential for many underlying health issues and chronic diseases. You can see their description. but FDA have not approved for any disease as a therapeutic or a treatment. But we are not talking about treatment for cancer, no. Treatment for autistic patient, no. We are talking about the underlying issue of the autism, underlying issue of the cancer patient when they are taking the chemo radio that can minimizing the side effect and damage being done by radio and chemotherapy. It helps and empower the body. There's a false advertisement going on, stem cell for cancer, no, stem cell for this and that. You should be cautious about that. FDA did not approve that. You should think about improving the, the symptom and underlying issue of the chronic disease and metabolic issues and autism and skin disease and organ failure. I see, I have a lot of patients got rid of their kidney issue, like a CKD, their EGF is dropping, dropping, and they are going to dialysis and they come back to normal. They go to dialysis. I have a lot of patients like a, uh, who are very old. These old and uh, so many diseases, they couldn't walk, they couldn't move. They came back to normal with a simple, comprehensive approach or methodologies, empowering stem cells. They go back to like a young. They can walk, they can smile, they can talk, they can feel and think like a young people. And I see many of my cancer patients after chemotherapy and radiotherapy, they become a very vulnerable situation. They are dragging their body. Stem cell regrow the damaged tissues and clean the toxin of the body and all the debris develop and scar develop through radio and chemotherapy. And they can go back to again regular. They can bring their back into homeostasis level by stem cell therapy. I have a lot of patients came with a heart blockage. They don't have any more blockage anymore. I have a patient, different stage of cancer, early stage cancer, they didn't need to go to chemotherapy. But of course, if you are a stage 3 or stage 4, you have to go to chemo and radio and you do stem cell therapy after. I see a lot of patients have a very low ejection fraction rate, liver failure and fatty liver and sexual dysfunction. They got back there. They regrow their organ with stem cell therapy. So with stem cell therapy, your rest of the life would be best of your life. Four days. Four days. I had no pain. Ooh, no four days, pain. no pain. No pain after going through pain all day, going to work. No pain, no pain. Pain, medica no pain medication? No pain medication. Well, I'm doing much better now. Um, the bleeding has stopped and I went back to a regular cycle last week. It began on Monday, ended on Friday. And 
taking your advice. I feel a bit better. I feel less forgetful. And I'm excited to see where the rest of this process goes. And yes, I lost 25 pounds mm -hmm. since I started. That's so. wonderful. So I had an inflamed uh, prostate mm -hmm. and I uh, went to my urologist okay. and they recommended I take uh, a pill, tablet, called finasteride. Mm -hmm. So I did take it. It didn't work. Uh, I tried to stop taking it, but then uh, my urologist told me I would have that was something I would have to take the rest of my life and made me concerned about that as well. So uh, I didn't want to have to continue taking something for the rest of my life if I didn't have to. Uh, so I brought that issue to you and uh, you helped me out. So after giving the supplement and diet, yes, it's how 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 is it right now? I feel I feel fine. I don't have to get up in the middle of the night to uh, to run to the restroom or throughout the day actually. So you know. Seems to be working whatever it was. The vitamins yeah. that you gave to me are, are doing its tricks and or, or working, should I say? That's so wonderful yeah. to hear that.